Alright, it's the Combine, so welcome back to more Resident Evil 7. In the last episode, we saved Ethan from Evelyn, and now, we are... Bitch, what the fuck are you? And now, it's time to end this once and for all. We gotta make our way back to where it all began. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is dark as shit out of here. Into the depths. Oh, look at all these poor fish. These poor dead fish. They're probably not even good to eat. <laughs> They've probably been here for like weeks, months, days, years. Whoa. Ooh, I can carry more stuff now. Sweet. The salt mines. Psycho stimulus. Huh. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Alright. You have taken me as things. Okay, so I gotta really pick out what I really need. One of them definitely being the shotgun. Where's my shotgun shells? Okay, there they are. Move those. Handgun ammo. Take those. Why not? More psycho stimulus, take those. Hmm. Is that all? I oh, 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 there's more stuff, okay. Uh, that handgun, take that. Machine gun, definitely take that. Some of those. Machine gun ammo. Remote bombs. Survival knife, herbs. Uh, what else? What else? Huh. I could definitely use the strong chem fluid and make some more uh, health stuff because I'm kind of running low on that. Oh, more handgun ammo. I could always use that. Enhanced. Handgun ammo, definitely. Uh, what handgun do I have? Acquired on the wrecked ship. Is that gonna be good? Uh, okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna definitely take those. And I'm gonna combine them. One of them into a strong chem fluid, because I'm definitely probably going to need it. My health is actually pretty good right now. Not going to lie. Actually, it would be good to... Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. No. I want 
to move this up here. There we go. Got my shotgun ready. Hello? Got him. Oh, there's so much. Oh, give me a break. Why? 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 Okay, I have a plan. But I need to be quick on the draw about it. That's a spicy meatball! Yeah! There we go! Okay. You know what? Your friends are dead. <laughs> that worked out amazingly! Okay, I got my knife. Let's go searching these boxes, see what we can find. Shotgun shells, that's perfect. Would have been nice to have you earlier, but whatever. Oh, there's another one right over here. More shotgun shells, always good. Anything else doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, it's dark out. It's dark in here. Gotcha. All right. Bombs are here. So I gotta be extremely careful where I step. Oh God. Okay, yeah, okay, that's true. Any more bombs? Yeah, right there. And 
herb. An herb. Nice. This is gonna get kinda dicey. Some remote bombs, nice. I was so panicked about the freaking molded right behind me that I didn't even notice the bomb. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. That's very fantastic. <laughs> Ugh. Fine, I'll use one of these. Damn stupid bombs. Ah, yes. Could use some herbs. I'm gonna move these around and make some more room. Alright. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clearing back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, under though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Eva La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since e Mia is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia is her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add her to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Eva, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Aha! Yes. She is the old lady. Ah! I don't like those sounds because... The molded might still be after me, and I don't like that. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Eating necrotoxin, okay. Twelve minutes after the cell cla clar calcification, how do you say that? Uh huh. E 
necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon model. Used only for disposal of E-series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E-series cell into the necrotoxin container. E-necrotoxin. Alright. There's still some files around here that I can search for. Like right here. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets. Hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to pro propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative, regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-opt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mole reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon come under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After cell, every cell in the body has been taken over by the mole, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all results in result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength, containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. So that would explain how Mia was able to throw us right all the way back up to that one room in the beginning. And there's more. <laughs> Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia to fungal filaments. The term Term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms found of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they ex exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them scientific battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded. Made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the fragrance of accidental infections performing redacted on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to classify, calcify, but... If the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use and therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subject to it, subject, subjecting it to redacted would enhance its effects to extreme pot potency, becoming a compound we now call e necrotoxin which redacted even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession uh, with the concept of family. In experiments, we found that on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were truly their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just spe speculation, but it could be that she ins instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest she m she's making up for the perceived lack of love in her quarantine upbringing. A parent's love. Okay... Honestly, I was gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I legit thought the camera crashed. Because I was not seeing the timer at all. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here. So. Move all, yeah.
I thought the camera legit crashed. Was there another file in here that I missed? There is. Oh, God. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts for the company's next best, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative, working with technical incidents from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Nexpis was later folded and all of its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project mar markedly different from conven conventional weapons is the ability to turn its enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only PAL handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the redacted and even redacted redacted organization shopping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery of redacted of redacted. The remarkably prog progressed figurant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mut mutamycite, whatever how you say that. The fabrication method is each bioweapon was introduced the myocyte genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred as candidate specimens and graded based on usability for the, from the impractical and faulty. Series A through D to be perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapon. That was a that of a roughly ten year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refungi populations. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capability of secreting the mutamycite redacted from her tissue as well. It's also of note that Evelyn's Mutamycite, however you say that, imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing and suedomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see e images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring com companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock that this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycite infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body redacted. Alright, so we're finally done with that, and now we can... Go it. Oh wait, wait, we left this area. Where's? Oh, there it is. There's the room. Well, anyway, guys, it's gonna be the first episode here in the next episode. If, if possible, the next episode will be the finale. We are gonna finally be able to beat Evelyn. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.